low, I guess. I don't even know. I'm gonna be so awkward. I'm laying in bed. I have not really gotten up today. I went out to water my plants, check on that. But right now, I felt that I should make another video. The last video I tried to make last week, the file got all sorts of messed up. I don't know what happened. So I have to remake it. I haven't felt like remaking it because it was a day that I was feeling really, really great. And I put on makeup and I got dressed and showered and blah, blah, blah. And I had stuff to do with my friend Lisa. And, you know, I was out and before she came over, I made my video, filmed it. It was pretty long. It was like 15 minutes and I was like so ready to like edit it. You know, it was 15 minutes without the editing. And I was about to edit it and then all of a sudden, I don't know what I did. I did something. I don't know. I messed up the file and then now it's gone. So I was like, I gotta make a video. I have all these video lists of things that I have that I wanted to film, but I haven't done yet because I've been in my bed being disgusting again, but um, since I don't like weekday TV, well I don't really like to watch a lot of TV during the day in the first place because there's not really anything on that I really want to watch, um, I, you know, all my shows went off and there's like baby shows on Nickelodeon and I want to watch Spongebob and that's not happening right now. Um, I on my PlayStation watching YouTube videos and I have very specific favorites of YouTubers and I really only watch about like maybe four or five or something but I have not been watching Trisha Paytas' videos lately for some reason just because I like took a break from watching YouTube so much because I haven't really been doing anything um, uh, I you know I had to go back and watch all of her videos from like five months ago that I missed out on so I've been catching up and now I'm on like videos from a month ago. So I'm watching one of her videos and even like three days ago or so, or two days ago, I was watching another one of her videos where she's just like sitting on talking, like being, you know, completely, totally honest about life. And I'm like sitting here like, oh my God, that's literally how, I'm doing right now so I'm like she she has this video I'm not okay and then that made me think of the My Chemical Romance song so I was like oh she's probably gonna talk about you know reference that in some way and she did at the end which really has nothing to do with the whole video but it was just about her and like how she's not feeling very like like you feel stuck and like like unstable and I'm like literally how my life is all the time for the past like three four years everything has been in like this weird ruin and then like a couple days ago i came to the conclusion that i feel like i died and i'm in like some weird purgatory and i need to figure out what i'm supposed to do to you know finish my transition into next life but i can't figure it out even though i am most definitely alive that's just what it feels like to me like if there is a thing because um, it's like not quite hell and purgatory is not hell um there's just this weird like i keep having these weird out of body experiences or like these weird like blackout type i'm not really here i'm watching myself so i call it out of body because like i'm functioning or doing whatever but like actual maddie is not here so i'm like what's what am i doing i have no idea I'm laying here. So this week has been like one of those weeks where I've been on a spell of just laying in bed and crying myself sleep at night and trying to, you know, take sleeping medication so I can actually go to sleep, but then I don't want to take that because then I don't want to die in my sleep or I don't want to get um, high tolerance to that because that happens and you have to take more and more of them and then eventually that led me to figure out you can get high off of them and that is crazy. I had a whole hallucination day for like you know, it was like three, four hours of like, you know, hallucinations that seemed very, very real. And I was just like, this is cool. I was very well aware that that's what was happening, you know, after I figured out it'd be like, oh, 
like I had a whole conversation in my house with my friend Lisa and I texted her and I was like where'd you go and she goes what are you talking about she's like I'm not I haven't even been over your house in like three days and I was like oh thanks sleeping pills you know that so you know then there's you know me and my you know smoke weed when I'm stressed or smoke weed when I can't sleep or smoke weed when I can't eat or smoke weed when I feel like shit so that I don't feel like shit like I do most of the time I cannot honestly cannot remember the last time I felt happy so you know normally YouTube makes me happy and that's mostly videos like Shay Dawson he's like the first YouTuber I've ever watched in my whole life um, so I watch him like I'm 20 years old I don't remember the age I was when I started watching him but I was like really little and I was just on YouTube like okay because it used to be me just watching like Paramore videos or painting at the disco and like just, I don't know when I was ugly and gross and I used to just watch Shane Dawson and it made me laugh he was really funny he's still funny he's weird I like that um, I'm weird I like weird people so you know then I got into watching Trish and you know I haven't watched Shane today. I was watching Trish, and she makes me happy too because she's really like cute and sparkly and like adorable, and I love that. So you know, I was watching that, but then I was watching her videos where she's talking about how like she feels in her like mental state, and I'm like, I literally feel the same exact way. And it's like she's taking words out of my mouth or like paraphrasing things that I've said to some of my friends in the past couple months, like. I haven't been at school all semester and it really sucks because I'm like not my dad's like stay home with me and blah 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 and I'm like I don't want to stay home with you because he gets on my nerves and I'm like I love him but like oh my god like I'm suffocated because he's so he's just a really out there bouncing around loud person and I'm like can you calm down and like I just I need my space and I need to breathe and he's not very good at cleaning so the house is a mess and it's gross and I hate it and I'm like I can't do this and I lived with my friends last year in college and like this little apartment type thing you know it was four of us it was always clean it was nice like I did dishes every night there were no missing dishes everybody kept their stuff where it was supposed to be my roommate was also very 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 neat and I love that about her she always had everything like extremely organized and like it was wonderful it was beautiful it was wonderful our apartment was nicely decorated the two guys i lived with at least one of them was very like he knows how to keep things nice the other one is just you know regular guy but he's very respectful of you got to keep things clean in our apartment you know like shit so being home i'm like my brother smells if you walk past his room you suffocate his room's like chernobyl um, you cannot go there. He hasn't been home for like two weeks, which is great. So I don't have to see him and listen to him be disgusting and disrespectful and whatever he's trying to put off some weird image that he's like this really cool, important person. And I'm like, you're not that great. Like, no one in his family is that great. Like, calm down. Um, I don't know. He thinks he's like Kanye or something. It's literally, it's like living with like a Kanye that has a bad, a terrible attitude. It's disgusting. And he has taken over my bathroom since I left for college and he leaves his underwear all, all around everywhere. So I've gotten to the point where if I see his boxers and whatever on the floor, I'm just throwing them away because I'm like, that's not cool after I keep telling you not leave your crap in my bathroom because he doesn't want to share a bathroom with my dad, which is understandable because my dad's bathroom is gross too. I would like to keep my things neat. This is beside the point. Trisha Paytas made me realize that I'm not necessarily by myself and feeling and thinking the way that I do because a lot of times I'm like I'm 20 years old I should be at school I should be studying I should be like getting all A's like I'm so used to like being an overachiever and being like I had all these plans for my life and I'm gonna do this and I'm supposed to be an actress and I um, auditioned for a fine art school where I was studying theater like you know it was great you know I mean it wasn't like fine art school it was like a program at this other school but like my family moved to Woodbridge so that I could go do this like performing arts thing so I could be there and then you know I did that and then 
my life started to go downhill and I was like, I need to start over and then I moved. And then I moved to back to Alexandria where I was from originally, which is great. It's better than Woodbridge. Woodbridge is disgusting. It's boring. Um, I moved back. I went back to my high school. I got back into band because at Woodbridge, you know, I had to get a lot of my like, you know, high school stuff out of the way when you're like, I got to do English, science, blah, blah, whatever, you know, freshman, sophomore year. So like you get free spaces with electives. So, you know, I was able to do theater, band and choir again, like I did in middle school. So I come back and then I'm like, my life's still going downhill, like moving to not solve anything. Um, even though I was around like some of my old friends that I missed a lot, um, my favorite people in like the whole world. I came back and I was like, the theater program here is amazing and they're still amazing and like I just like I auditioned for a show, I got into the show, I started going to the thespian meetings again at this school, I transferred my thespian stuff over, we did the children's show which is like what Theater 3-4 does every year and that was really cute and I loved that and like you know like kind of put myself back into the theater circle at this other place and it was great and then I got a I had cast in this really awesome show called Wit, and it was like a small cast, and it was really nice, and like, the cast was chill, like, everybody liked each other, everybody was chill, you know, no drama, it was nice. The show was like, in a series of like, one acts that we did, and so I was in like, I feel like it was two in one week, or something, because it was like our class one acts, and then that did that, you know, the cast was nice, the cast of my other one act that I was in called Hard Candy was great and that's by an author a playwright that I really really like that was great um I got to play a really weird role which I was like so ready for because I read the play before and I was like I want to play this person so let me like get ready so like you know um it was awesome you know I did that I did my two shows it was great went to my thespian meetings got some more points went to choir, did a bunch of stuff for that, went to band, did a bunch of stuff for that, even though I had to be in the lower band class because that's how my schedule worked out, so it was really annoying, but I had to be first chair, so that was cool. Um, it was stressful, but it was cool, I got to be first chair, and I was like, okay, that's nice. Never experienced that in my life before. You know, and then the next year I kept the same thing, and then I got to be in the top band class again like I normally was and it was great but I'm obviously not first chair in that class because there are some really amazing people but anyway my life's going downhill so I stopped being in shows like I was so excited because they were doing Little Shop of Horrors and I really liked that show like a lot and I would have loved to you know have been a part of it and like I was sitting in class watching the stage get built every day and I was just like oh my god and like you know eventually I just got confined to only doing classroom acting things and then like there was this point where I just stopped coming to school very often and like I just couldn't keep up with my work and I had to do marching band because if you're in top band you have to do marching band and marching band was like hell to me I hated marching band like it was terrible I did not like it they yelled at us every five seconds like we were in the military and I'm not a fan and you know whatever this is all besides the point I'm like ahead of myself in a whole different story my point is that I feel so out of place and so out of me. Like, I don't feel like Maddie anymore. I had all these goals since I was three. I'm going to be an actress, singer, songwriter, and music producer. That's my life. That's all I like to do. That's all I want to do. But I have not been able to do it because I have been so, like, all over the place lately for the past three years. And I'm like, I'm going to fix this. I'm going to go to my psychiatrist. I'm going to take whatever medication they tell me to do, adjust whatever medication they tell me to do, blah blah blah. I'm gonna go to therapy, I'm gonna work on this stuff, I'm gonna do cognitive behavioral therapy, it's gonna be great. And then like my therapist and I are really close now, I've had the same one for like three years. Now I'm in this like phase of being switching around from psychiatrist to psychiatrist and they're like this is wrong with you, this is not wrong with you, and I'm like I don't know what's wrong and they're like you're, I don't know. And like some of them are really rude and like it's just irritating like they don't listen they're like here just take all these pills and I'm like okay I can't be just taking all these pills all the time that's not cool that's not that's not great like am I gonna die like first of all I don't trust medication in the first place I'm like completely because I'm like all this stuff's like FDA regulated and I don't necessarily trust all the things that they say and what they put out there because they put a bunch of crap in food anyway it's just I have been in this like 
up down up down crazy thing where like I went to school I was like doing well my first semester a little bit and then eventually my grades started to slip because of this up down up down thing and it was crazy I was like really excited and really happy and like I was in my dorm with one of my friends from high school and my other two friends lived downstairs and so I would just go hang out all the four of us and then we met all the people in the hall and I would walk them down the hall with my door open and like talk to people and then eventually I just came reclusive and like would stay in there for like days or weeks at a time with the lights off and then I, I got really like irritated with my roommate and we, we started fighting all the time and like I just started getting really depressed and I was crazy and then I would like drink a whole lot and then I'd be like oh and people were, you know it was just crazy and you know at first I just put it over to like you know crazy college antics but that's not what it was eventually I, I didn't realize that until like after a year so I was on academic probation I came back second semester which was I mean first semester last year for sophomore year and at this point I'm still technically a freshman because I didn't finish out my second semester of freshman year because I didn't want to get suspension okay so I come back like sophomore year the first year living in my apartment with my two friends Dino and Dylan and my friend Sarah and it was great and then eventually I started having roommate issues with Sarah and it's just because of her boyfriend kept staying over and I was like he doesn't live here why is he here and I was like my anxiety is stressing me out like I don't know him very well it's creepy and it was just like I would wake up in the morning and sometimes he'd still be there and which is weird and I was like how am I supposed to I was just really uncomfortable and then like you know that whole up down up down crazy shit started happening again where I get depressed and I lay in my room and then they were like ill what's wrong with you like and I just felt like really criticized by them all the time and it was like my anxiety was in hyperdrive because I was like now they think that I'm gross and now they think that I'm like just underachiever and then I was watching them like they were like oh I got accepted to do this thing or I got this internship or I got this job and like Dylan had like two jobs at like two different places and he like had a job for when he would go home and he had a job when he was at school and Sabrina had the same thing where she like if we were at home or on break she had a job at home and she also had a job at school and I was like why are they my age and literally we all you know are basically in this almost the same demographic why can't I do these things and then I, I tried the summer before that to work and eventually that went to crazy too because I'd come to work and I'd be so happy and I'd be excited and I'd clean everything and then you know I'd get depressed again and then I'd feel like I have to take time off and then they were like what's wrong with you and then like it was just a really stressful environment because like I worked at a really crappy place um they didn't have their shit together and you know that sucked but like my co-workers were really cool and like really nice and I liked my boss and you know I liked my manager it was like cool you know everybody was pretty chill it was nice. It was just like the whole like place as a whole was not functioning very well. Anyway, Trisha just made me realize like I am in this whole like this hole that I feel like I'm in. She's in it too. And I was like, how in the world is someone else? I'm like, obviously this is a thing. You know, it's not like you did anything. She's like older than me. She's like almost 30. So I'm like she's you know she doesn't have an actual job i don't have a job at all i just you know try and function day to day i can't even do school right and i'm like how am i supposed to you know do things so like i go to church i pray you know go to mass mass makes me really calm and like it feels really nice to go and then, like you know go through like it's like a really routine thing going to mass and like the way it, everything's structured is just really routine and it just it's really calming because like it's just a really nice environment to be at church and I pray and stuff and I'm, my mom's like keep praying you're fine like nothing's wrong with you and I'm like obviously something's wrong because I have felt for the past three years that I cannot function as a normal person I keep having these out-of-body experiences I've lost copious amounts of friends and they're like you're crazy and like something's you know the, it's just like my boyfriend doesn't talk to me as often when I feel in the state that I do, like, my video's gotten so long now, so I'm almost 20 minutes, and I have not even gotten around, like, it's just so much, like, I feel so lost, and so, like, unstable in how I'm supposed to do things, and it's like, I lost Maddie, because Maddie had a life, and Maddie was, like, 
my inner clarinet. I've not played my clarinet in a year, and I used to play my clarinet every day for like two hours and I was like I'm gonna be so good like I'm gonna be great and like it's gonna be amazing and like I'm gonna be in like the orchestra at my college and like I'm still in concert band I mean like I could audition for orchestra but like I haven't played my clarinet in a year and like even I even stopped going to my band class at school so that's how I knew something was wrong I have not been in a show in like two three years I haven't um acted, I haven't been in one act, I haven't done any like side work, I haven't done, I haven't practiced my clarinet much, I haven't gone to my voice lessons like I normally do, I haven't been in choir, like I stopped going to choir first, that was the first one, and then like everything just starts spiraling out of control, and I'm like, what am I supposed to do? What am I, how am I supposed to work? How am I supposed to get through my life? And people are like, oh you're fine, and I'm like, I'm not fine, like I don't know what's wrong and like how to fix it like I do know what's wrong but I don't and they're just like oh yeah it's just a mental thing like you just have to fix it take medication go to therapy blah 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 and I do that and still nothing has gotten better and if anything things get worse and I'm like I, I can't take care of myself like I don't get up for days at a time in the shower or eat or do anything or like go outside I don't leave the house very often because I don't like it I feel stressed when I go outside I don't know but I've lost so many like friends and people close to me and like one of my friends wanted to come visit and hang out with me and I haven't seen him in a long time and I really miss him and like he lives in North Carolina so I'm like that's my buddy you know that's my clarinet player buddy and like you know I have these friends from band camp that I'm like I should go visit them and like I don't and they're like well I should come visit you and hang out and I'm like yeah but it's like a hollow answer because I'm like I really want to it's just I feel so like I never know how I'm gonna feel to be able to plan something and be like yeah let's hang out or I feel really stressed or like I don't know and then I'm like I don't want them to start to hate me too because like you know they don't see me on a daily basis so they don't even know like the craziness that goes on in my life so I'm like I don't want them to come and then I feel all messed up or I feel gross or like I'm like in that crazy mood that I get where I'm just like running around and I don't know. I don't know. But I got compelled to make a video because Trisha did her couple videos that I'm looking at mostly the one where she's like I'm not okay and I'm like that's me. So it's just I guess it's nice to know other people feel like the same exact way but then I'm like you know it's, it's not like at least someone else feels they can't function because sometimes I'm like literally am I the only person in the world that's like here like all I want to do is get back on my normality and have friends again and find love and be like a person but like no I, uh, you know, just lay here all day in my bed, and, like, I am going on day three without showering, and I'm laying here, and I just want to, like, you know, and then I don't want self-harm to become, like, a thing again in my life, because that's not cool, and I already have, like, scars, and people are like, what happened? And I'm like, oh, nothing, my dog scratched me, and then I have to deal with that, and my, or my mom would be like, oh, that's so gross, I don't understand why you do that, nothing's wrong with you, you have such a great life, you have so much to be thankful for, and I do, which is why I'm like, why do I feel gross, like, I have no reason, like, literally have everything that I could ever want, and I'm lucky that my parents will let me stay at home when I'm, like, 20 years old and should be at school and I'm not doing well, and they're just like, oh yeah, just come home, it's fine, like, okay, like, thanks, that's good, like, I don't know, a lot of people my age are not, like, as lucky as I am that I don't have to be working and I don't have to like try and support myself and that's the thing that stresses me out because it's so scary that I'm like I can't even support or take care of myself and I'm not doing the things I used to do and I don't really want anything and I'm like stuck and I'm like I don't really know what I'm supposed to do to change things so that sucks I'll probably make another video that's more organized I just really wanted to get something back out on my channel and start vlogging and YouTubing again because I really want to do this YouTube thing because it looks fun and it looks like, you know, something that at least get me to, you know, be a person and get out of bed and have a life. I'm like, maybe if I do YouTube, I'll actually, you know, get up more and, you know, at least I'll have like a little goal to set to like make a video every day and like do stuff, so...
but at least I got a little bit of inspiration today or something. So, thanks Trisha. And I hope Trisha's okay. I will pray for her. Everybody pray for me because homegirl needs it because I feel like I'm dying or running myself into the ground or I'm stuck or I'm already dead and like I just don't know. I'm extremely lonely and <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully things will be fine eventually. They haven't been in three, four years, but you know, we'll f figure it out. Hopefully, we'll see. I just would like to know what happiness feels like again because I honestly have forgotten what that is. I don't know what that means. I don't know how that feels. I don't even know what it looks like. So, like, what is that happiness? It's over. It's canceled. I have no idea. But hopefully, we'll figure it out. Hopefully, Maddie will be back on track by the time she's 30 because I can't keep just sitting here. I hate it. I honestly hate it. I hate sitting here and feeling like I'm doing nothing or feeling like a shitty individual or like somebody that's not worthy of having happiness or friends or love or like a life. So, you know, hopefully I'll figure it out and I'm going to continue to lay in bed, eat my granola, color my coloring book, watch Family Guy, whatever, try and get myself back up, but pray for me and I will see some people and some more in another video soon hopefully and I'll try and read, you know explain this whole stuff better if that helps you know because this is a lot to ramble on and that's all I do so hopefully I'll be all good